So the best people, right? The best investors in the apartment game are those who have solid teams and partnerships. The people who are doing it by themselves, one-offs, they always tend to, to make progress, but it's slower progress, it's uh, delayed, and usually they never scale to the big companies that operate larger, right? And so I wanna talk about that and, and how partnerships work. So essentially, in order to form a good uh, partnership for your apartment business, you want to want to find out what you're good at, right? So maybe you're good at finding deals or you're good at establishing relationship with brokers. You might be good at, at finding money or you've got a network of people who could pour money into a multifamily syndication, right? That might be you. So what you're going to look for is the person who you are not, right? So if you can raise money then you want to find somebody who's good at, at executing on deals, or maybe you're good at, at managing projects or property management, whatever it is, right? So you want to find out what you're good at, hone in on that, and then connect with the people who are good at what you're not. And so once you find that, you have the ability to form a stronger team because you, you really don't want to do this with without a team, right? You would drive yourself crazy and find that, that your sanity is not even worth the money uh, that you could potentially make off these deals. So... After you found your team, what you want to do is draw out uh, not some long form agreement, but you do want to have the discussion with, hey, are you going to be OK breaking down our team percentages like this? Right. So maybe it's a 50 50 partnership or maybe it's a 70 30 or 90 10, whatever it is, this partnership. If if you're looking to build something, you want to make sure that every part of your team is comfortable with that prior to you getting a deal. Because what you don't want to have happen is have you all work on a deal and then at the end, the partnership team is sort of like, well, who's going to get what and how are we going to do this? And, and that can cause a lot of bickering and contention within your own team. Not a great way to start off. So make sure that you find the right people to connect with and also make sure that those people are comfortable with the way you're going to break down the percentages of the money uh, as you make and grow your business. So hopefully you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.